guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting Rain to episodes 1 and 2 of Sounds of Life. So, the thing is, the only thing I know, well, things that I know about the show, um, it aired last year between April and, April through December, because I know I had two seasons in one, um, and this show is somewhat like music, and I think that's good, because it's someone who... I was never in band. I was always in chorus, but I still love music entirely and ish. But yeah, um, one thing I do want to say, even though you'll see it when I start the video, um, I tried downloading this on GoGo Anime. GoGo Anime wouldn't let me download it for some weird reason, so I'm just going to download the whole entire series on Kiss Anime, and Kiss Anime has um, logos in front of it, so I want to go ahead and say that now so that nobody's like, hey, where the fuck are you? Um, why am I earlier, uh, ahead of you, shit like that, because I don't want it to be like with Overlord or any other show that I've done in the past from 2016 up until now, where people are, like, freaking out and wondering where the hell I am, even though it's on screen. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode one and three, two, one, go. I also really wanted to watch this show, and I think a couple of people did ask me to watch this, but I think I was too busy. I had too many shows. So you're saying the grandson fucked up? The Are we serious? Oh. Okay, I'm going to say this one thing. I'm kind of getting, um, because Kyoto Animation did, uh, the anime that I'm about to kind of compare it to for only a couple minutes. Um, Sinra vibes with this in a way. I don't even think it's now about music anymore. It seems I know it's about music. Why would you name it Sound of Light Sounds of Life? It's so weird. Why and then you have the instrument and shit. So I don't know. But you're telling me that kid right there with the glasses, he was the one who vandalized his uh, that place? Is great the grip. Okay. What the fuck is going on? I also kinda thought I was what the hell is that? Oh, wait, hold on, no, are those, um, I know, I, I just don't know the word. <laughs> I've seen one of those before. Mm-hmm. Like, yes, elementary school, long ass time ago. This might give me sound euphoria tales. Oh god. <laughs> Which is good though. I honestly need something to compare that because I love that show when I watched it by myself and it was such a good thing. Of course, and you want some newer fruits. Damn. 
Will we really call this a club now? I mean... But it's important to him, though. Pretty eyes. Why do I feel like I know his voice? on the dashboard. <laughs> well, we're gonna call you male Kirby for short. Cause <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> oh, wait, let us go. He might really want to play. Yeah, he seems like the type of dude who's not really going to take no for an answer. You know what? That's okay. I like that in a guy. Yeah, I'm I'm getting a lot of sound and porn and pills because I mean, oh my god, season one they were not the best. But by the end of season one they were good. But you fell in love with that ring. <laughs> oh, damn. Are you okay? Well, at least the place clean.
I mean, but Kuma, like I said, he seems really passionate, unless there's something else. See, okay, I think I know who he his BA is. If he who I can't even, I'm not even making sense right now. If he's who I think he is, because he kinda sounds like the new Kyo from Fruits Basket, I mean that would make a lot of sense. He even looks like him. If his hair was a little more redder, then yes. I honestly thought he was going to say, come with me, and they, they would have performed wrong. I, I was thinking that, but who knows? So no, with you. The chica, you can't always do things like that. Shit. Honestly, you deserve that punch. So you've had a trouble childhood. It seems like his grandfather is somewhat like his father figure in a way. I mean, this is only episode one, but just what I'm getting. That's because you haven't tried it. You might 
might like it. Hmm. Oh. So he lost everything. Okay. And watch, he's gonna be up. Huh? As an adult, it makes me hate adults. I mean, they, it, it's big, you know, just the first impressions of a kid, no matter what it is, it's just. Ugh. But it's not true. He didn't do anything. Yes, you do live in two different worlds, but still. You're wrong. Go on, tell the truth. No. Yes, so tell me, why in the hell he would want to destroy a club room that he's a part of? Answer that. Oh my god, like seriously.
I was looking it up. The science. Honestly, this is a really good first episode. Oh my god. Okay, so I love both boys. They're both interesting. They're both cute. Both from two different worlds, dynamics, everything. But I mean, it seems like there's going to be something. I am kind of shipping them in a way, but I don't think they're going to go that route of, oh, hey, we're putting these two boys together no matter what. Like, mm. I feel like it's just the connection that they have with each other. It's there and you can see it. Even if like there's a girl, which it seems like there's going to be a couple of girls who are going to come in this show. And kind of, I don't think it's going to go like the love triangle route, but whatever happens from episode two to episode 26, I'm really happy to see. And so I, I will go back on my thing about adults as an adult myself. Um, I really, till this day, from seeing it in my POV, I really hate it when parents or other adults in general literally, um, the stigmatism or the stereotype of a child, uh, of really of a troubled child, and thinking that they're always bad and thinking that they were the ones who did this. But, I mean, in the end, you end up looking like an ass. Not the kid, but you, when you automatically assume something about this child and saying, oh, well, they're known for this and always known for this, that, and the third, no matter what. Continuing what I said, but like, it's just, I, I wish, but from what I've seen from my perspective and seeing people who I am friends with and uh, family friends that I have and how they are with their kids plus my own family members my aunts and uncles yeah yeah like the stereotype of your kids and not letting your kids being able to say how they truly feel and being able to like um 
make themselves look innocent because even if, whether they did it or not and being able to give like all these informations because there are some parents out there I'm not gonna say all but there are some and I have met some who don't let their kids um speak out and saying well I didn't do this and this, they automatically assume that their kid did this and there is no explanation they don't get to tell like their side of the story it's like that and stuff while my mother and my father would let me explain like if I if I was in trouble or not at least explain my side of the story so that we could find the solution of it there are some principals who are like that too there are some teachers who are like that too who will allow their students to explain their side of the story to come to a conclusion but there are still some teachers parents principals whoever who will say like mm -mm, you're both in trouble i don't want to hear it at the end of the day and you could see even in this first episode yes not the principal but really the teacher was a little bit of a dick in my opinion but Kudo, he seems really interesting. He has such a tragic backstory, and I cannot wait to see even more of it. Um, Nadeshko or Kudata, um, he, he seems interesting, too. Almost a little one-sided, even though this is just episode one, but I do love the fact is, in this 20-something, 20 23 minutes, 24 minutes almost, this 24-minute episode, you got to see development on both of them equally. I love that about this show. I mean, it, it's from other shows that I've seen in the past and shows that I'm currently watching now. Sometimes you can't always give character development to two characters at the same time in a 20-something minute episode. Sometimes you gotta say, here's part one of this character and the next episode is part two of such and such or whatever. But I love the dynamic of them. I love how they did it. And it's just interesting. I want to know a little bit more about... Um, Kudo's friend, him, and then whoever else is coming. Okay. Other, well, other than that, wrong thing. Go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode two. Okay. Episode two and three, <clears throat> two, one, go. Mm. I got my water, but no, it's okay. I'll get it after before I take my dog. Well, I mean, you just need three more. It's not hard getting three more. Well, it, it, it's somewhat hard getting three more, but still. Because they end up having like, it, it seems like they have more than five from all these characters right here in this opening. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, seven. You end up having seven. So the odds are in your favor. I mean, maybe. I, I'm not 100% sure. It, it's either going to be five people in this club or at least seven. But I don't know. I don't know why, but those three seem like the type of characters who are just the ones who are like, let's just be here or be here. We're going to be in this club for hot chicks and shit like that. But like, no, no, no. Boys. Oh my god, yes.
You'll be fine. Take a nice deep breath. Let it out. No. So pretty. Mm -hmm. Clark could have done. I mean, at least he tried until Kudo kind of fucked it up, but A, A, A forever, you know? <laughs> I'm guessing because of your mother or your okay makes a good sense Like, hey, you're really pretty. You kind of remind me of another character that I can't really think of right now from one anime that I've seen because I've seen too many freaking animes. But because of the fact that it's just two boys. Uh -huh. <laughs> mm, true. Okay, so you know what? I kind of like it. I like her attitude. It's nice. I don't think she's gonna be like like that one typical type of girl, the stereotype where she's like kind of bitchy in a way, and 
because of the fact that she's way into it and um trying to think of another word. She knows her shit. I think they're going to get together. I, I just, the dynamic with those two. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're saying it now. Do not spoil me on everything. I don't want to fucking know. Don't tell me ish. Yeah, but Hoseki seems nice. Yeah. Mm hmm. She'll be like that, like, I don't want to say star pupil, but the like the famous one, as she even said, the one that everybody goes to for help. Pretty though. <laughs> you might have <laughs> Oh, You'll be back. True, I heard about that. Your mom, grandmother. Well, hold on, Jose. I, I know that you're a part of the group, but you should have asked just in case. I mean, of course. Oh, now I know who she reminds me of. <laughs> of course, I'm sorry for him. Kind of creamy color in a way. A little bit. Teeny tiny bit. Just the way she kind of... 
speaks in a way. A little bit, not a lot. Either Kumiko or Rana, one of the two. A little bit of both. Because she's a pro. She's been doing it ever, like, almost all her life. So she knows the ins and outs of it. I'm like, Kurato, he knows the stuff, but not as, like, she's on a vast different level than both of them. I just remember when I went to a museum and I actually got to see that instrument in um, elementary school. And I always wondered how you could play it. And we were we really didn't get a demonstration, but hey, now I know. Well, that was nice. Be strong. Okay, well, why don't you ask his friend for his... Oh, there he is! <laughs> You're gonna have to talk to him. I don't know how long, but I don't know how to draw. Yeah. Is he practicing? Oh! Oh shit, Mel Kayon, let's see that. <laughs> Oh, 
How's the king is a motherfucking savage, and I fucking love it. We are fucking here for this. Like, oh my god, let's go. <laughs> so, Pluto told? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Hold on. Got it. Sorry. Spider. <laughs> right, but he's your guy is an idiot. He's a y'all's idiot. <laughs> So you still want to go to Nashville? Yeah, you did. You did, but that's okay. Yeah, not only does it seem like it's the first time you're being in a club, but it seems like this is the first time when you are around other people who still love it as much as you do, but you love it, if not more. So... It, it seems like she doesn't really know how to... <laughs> How to approach people and become not only really acquaintances, but maybe even friends with them. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> It would be better if all three of you helped. Awesome. Okay, so Husky is a really nice addition to our little group of three now, officially going to possibly be seven when we get there later on. She's cunning, smart, different, a little bit of an attitude, just like Kudo, but Kudo has a little more of an attitude problem rather than her. She is the type of person who acts a certain type of way. I think it's because of her bringing up and doing something and being in this professional, working with this instrument and everything, there has to be something with this person, uh, an adult figure in her life, whether it's her mother, her grandmother, whoever, but I think it is possibly her mother. 
I'm maybe guessing her mother was a little too hard on her. And I think that's why she's a little um, somewhat unapproachable to make friends as of right now. I mean, it's only really episode two, but this is the first appearance for her. So I'm hoping that from three to 26, she is a little more heartwarming. And I think when the other girl comes in, I think that's when she's slowly going to be reassuring and more heartwarming towards not only the guys, but girls. I mean, it's two girls in the damn group full of boys. And I'm just like, fuck, like, holy shit. I mean, if it would have been one girl, then yeah, I, I think she would have still like held this like wall against her. Cause she, she seems like she has a lot of pent up energy inside of her. So who knows? She's very, I don't want to say aggressive, but there are moments where she seems aggressive, but it's only really from maybe her upbringing. Like I said, this is her very first episode where she's not officially coming in, even though she was in the preview for episode one, at the end of episode one, going on episode two. But I think the more that we dive into her story and her background and why the way she is, maybe my understanding on her will change because ultimately I, I like her as a character. She seems very interesting, but there's something there that it's like, we just need to chip away on that goddamn wall and just wanting to know what is your deal? Why are you the way you are? And why are you acting this way? Why are you putting on this facade, you know, and then you're showing your true colors around these two, but you're still going to act like this. You're going to go back and forth. You're, you're hiding behind a mask from what it seems to me. I don't know if it's, if it's felt like that to you guys when you all watched this show last year, but honestly, I really don't know. But really both of these two episodes were really, really good. And the backstory, the dynamics of it, I just hope that with Hozuki, they do shut up Fitbit. I know I got to take him out. Um, they do a little bit more on her from, like I said, from three to 26 and with everybody else who's coming, I honestly cannot wait to see, but really for, for this, I mean, damn, I, in a way I kind of wish I watched this last year and I probably knowing me, I think, um, if a lot of more people had a, you know, pushed me to watch this show, that I would have possibly gone ahead and watched it as a reaction, or I probably would have watched it by myself, because typically sometimes it's like that, and it always depends on, like, my time and schedule, and to see if I have enough time to sit and watch an extra show, because 50 out of 50, when I say, hey, this is, like, by, about, like, week two, maybe week three, when we get into anime, I have my final list, and then maybe if I need to add something, but once I say, hey, this is the last show I'm fucking watching, I ain't watching anything else, no matter how many times, Unless it, unless somebody finds like a trailer or something, or it says like, "Hey, Deja, I think you would really enjoy this show." Um, but yeah, I mean, it was really good. Other than that, guys, that was my reaction view towards episodes one and two of Sounds of Life. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos. <clears throat> every single day join the magic squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next friday for patreons and next tuesday for everybody else for episodes three and four bye guys